One more game will decide who is moving on to the NLCS. The Rockies and Dodgers have battled throughout this franchise, and they have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe in this series, splitting the first four games. The Rockies winning games one and three in dominant fashion with their explosive offense that saw over 20 runs scored over these two games. But in games two and four, the Dodger pitching came to play and some timely hitting late gave the Dodgers a lead over Colorado in game four. The Dodgers hoping to avoid elimination took a one run lead into the ninth and the Rockies came close but could not quite tie the game up ensuring we would see a game five here in Colorado. It's winner take all in the NLDS and each team has brought their ace to play for tonight's matchup with Luis Severino starting for the Colorado Rockies and Walker Bueller, who helped win the wildcard game for the Dodgers, will take the mound again tonight. Severino pitched the first four innings of game one, allowing two runs, striking out five in the Rockies 13 to five victory. Let's get this game underway. Game five, Rockies and the Dodgers is underway with a strike from Severino. And Mookie Betts has been phenomenal in the postseason, hitting 400, quickly falling behind 0-2 to Severino. He struck him out on the fastball inside. 98 from Severino for the quick strikeout on three pitches. Next up, Carlos Asuahe. On the ground at second base, and the play is made. Five pitches, two outs for Severino. And now, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with a fly ball out to left field, and Geronimo is under. And that is a quick zero on the board for Luis Severino. We have struggled to get out of the first inning cleanly, so a big improvement already. And we're put to the test against Walker Bueller, who was great in the wildcard game. When we last saw him... The Rockies teed off on Bueller for one of the only times in this franchise. Strike at the knees to Brandon Nimmo. Quickly a two and two count. Fly ball, he's under it in the left field. Not hit all that deep. And the play is made. The Rockies do have one lineup change for today, moving Rafael Devers into the two spot instead of three. And he fouls back the fastball right down the middle. One and two. Got him with the curveball. He's out in front. Strike three. Bueller with two quick outs. And whoever wins this game is matched up with the St. Louis Cardinals, who will be well rested for the NLCS. On the ground from Bogarts and hit right at short. A one, two, three for Walker Bueller, just like Luis Severino. Let's go top of the second. 0 2 to Cody Bellinger and driven deep to center. Sending Reynolds back, and he gets there. Severino working quickly to start this game. 2-1 now, and he misses inside to Edwin Rios. Count goes 3-1, and he misses low. First base runner of the day. It's a walk for Rios, bringing up Adley Rutschman. And that one is driven down the line, but hooks foul safely. And this time it's on the ground and through into right field. Rutschman reaches and Rios moves to second. Dodgers have the first scoring threat. Gavin Lux in the air to left and Geronimo is sent backwards. And he gets to it. First and second, two down for Zach McKinstry. Lifted to right. Nimmo sent back at the track. And he gets to it. Just in front of the fence. And the Rockies put up a second zero. Bottom two, Brian Reynolds fouls off the curveball. Bueller favoring that a lot early on. Hooked into right, hit pretty well at Betts, but he is over to make the catch. Colorado looking for their first base runner of any kind, and Trey Turner is out in front. Rockies having some issues here with the curveball as that one is up and in. One and two to Trey. Got him out in front once again. The curveball of Bueller ends the inning. And we go top three. Mookie Betts struck out in his first at bat and falls behind once again. 0 oh, 2 from Sevy. And this one is hammered out to left center field, splitting the gap, and it's down. 
Betts on his way to second. Turns the corner. Geronimo throwing it in. Not in time. And it's a one-out triple for Mookie Betts. He has been unstoppable in this series. Lifted to center, and that should be deep enough. Reynolds will give it his best shot. And Betts slides in safely. It is 1-0 L.A. Here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. chasing one. Count goes three and two. Fouled off the high fastball. Fouls off one on the corner. Really good pitches from Severino and just can't put the at-bat away. Hitting every corner of the strike zone. Another three, two, and did he go? No. What a walk drawn by Vladimir Guerrero. As impressive as some of his home runs. That brings up Cody Bellinger, and this time Severino gets the job done. Cody flails at it, strike three. Rockies down one, we go bottom three. Struck out Johnny Schaefer on that knuckle curve ball. Kept it right below the knees. Ryan Valade lines one into right field as Bueller left the curveball up in the zone. Severino now trying to put down the bunt and does so to third base. Advancing Valade. Looking for the RBI hit now. The lineup turns over. And Nimmo is behind it. Three and two to the best contact hitter. On the ground. Off the glove of Rios. Trying to recover. Safe at first. Nemo just beats out the throw, and that will be an E5 charge to Edwin Rios. Not a very difficult play, just a couple steps to his left. Looks like it bounced and hit him in the heel of the glove. He almost had him. First and third now, and it's Devers. Two and one. Just missing outside. Hitters count for Devers. Fouls off the curveball, and we go full. 3-2. On the ground, into right field, and here comes a run scoring. Throw from Betts, offline but backed up, and Nimmo didn't see it. He's tagged out by Bueller, and the inning comes to an end. It looked like there might be a chance to advance, but Bueller was over-backing up as he's supposed to. That's a missed opportunity for Colorado. They do tie the game, but they leave some meat on the bone there. We go top four. 0-1 to Rios. Crank to right field and driven a long way. That is gone. Quickly putting that E5 behind him. Edwin Rios with the solo shot. Wrapped around the right field foul pole. 2-1. to one. Just like he did in the first game, Sevy's given up two runs. He only made it through the fourth inning in that outing and picks up a strikeout on Gavin Lux. We go bottom four. Xander Bogarts didn't get his chance with two on in the third, but sends one to right center field to lead off the fourth. One hops the fence and he's into second with a double. That brings up David Geronimo, 2-1. Chase the fastball, count is evened up. Fouled back the cutter, three and two. Got him with the fastball, a bit late on it. Bueller really on his game in this outing. Next up, Ryan Reynolds, and he falls behind. One, two, chased it. Another fastball just off the plate. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, Bueller has five. Inning left up to Trey Turner as this is lifted. Twisting foul and enough room to secure it. Leadoff double gone to waste for Colorado. Sevy comes out to start the fifth inning. Here's Mookie Betts, 2-0. Lined back up the middle and speared by Trey Turner. Carlos Asuaje next and he lines this one over second and into right. Man on for Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And Schaefer blocks it. Taken off to second. He gets a Swahe trying to swipe the bag. Johnny Schaefer ends the inning. And it's a one-run game going bottom five. Bottom of the order due up for Colorado. And Schaefer stays ice cold at the plate in this series. Six strikeouts for Bueller. And it's time to bring somebody off the bench. Severino's day is done. 
Adele Amador in the air to right center, not hit very deep. Bellinger makes the catch. Through five, it is two to one Dodgers. And the Rockies go into their bullpen. Here is Yanni Chirinos. A brand new role for him in the postseason. Facing Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and it's tapped to the right side. Valade makes the routine play. Next, Edwin Rios. This with two down, and that one is foul. Two, two, just off. Three and two with Rutschman awaiting. Lined into center. Geronimo trying to cut it off, and he wasn't even close. Extra bases again for LA, and they're not stopping at second. Into third is Rios, adding on to his great day at the plate. And that brings up Rutschman. No need to pitch at him too aggressively, and he stays disciplined and draws the five-pitch walk. Brings up Gavin Lux, and he reaches for one. Bogarts on one hop will make the play. And Chirinos throws up the zero. Rocky's trying to get this game tied up and perhaps get Bueller out of here. Nimmo into center. Bellinger coming in. Easy play. Devers up, one for two. Tries to turn on the cutter, but he's out in front. Fouled back the fastball. Battling from behind in the count, he fouls back another one. Fouls off the curveball now. Two and two. Lined over first, and it's foul by inches. Another two and two. Got him that time on the curveball. Strike three. Bueller wins the battle and collects strikeout number seven. One more. Here's Bogarts again grounded to short. And he is retired. Six brilliant innings for Walker Bueller. Striking out seven, only allowing the one. We go top seven. One run game. Splitter swung on and missed. And Chirinos gets the three pitch strikeout. That's not something you see from him all that often. And off the bench for LA, this is Gio Urshela, driven deep to left. Geronimo way back, makes the catch and hits the fence. One more to go. Betts taps softly, here's Chirinos, barehanded, got him at first. Chirinos does his job, two good innings. And the Dodgers now go to their bullpen with Corey Knable who has already appeared in a few games in this series. 1-0 to Geronimo, lifted to center, hit pretty well, but Cody has it measured. And he makes the catch near the track. Here is Brian Reynolds, turned on into right, and Betts is right there to make the catch. Their hardest contact is staying within reach. 3-0 now to Trey Turner with two down. Gets the green light, but he's a little bit late on it. Sent to center, Bellinger stays busy and ends the seventh inning. It is still a two to one Dodger lead and time is running out. Chirinos is still in there as this is lined the other way, dumped into left for a base hit. That brings up Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Strike on the outside. Evened up, two and two. And it's driven deep to left center field. Back goes Reynolds at the wall. And it's gone. His biggest hit since joining the Dodgers at the trade deadline. And the Rockies trail 4-1 to one here in game five. Taylor Rogers enters the game. Chopped up the middle by Bellinger. Play made for the out. With two down. Rutschman is way under it. And Rodgers is under to make the catch. The Rockies now need three runs over two innings. Bruce Dark Gratterall is in the game. Johnny Schaefer. 3-1 and that is called ball four. The Rockies get a base runner. Got to start somewhere. Two and two with Ryan Valade taking the slider. And struck him out on the changeup. Another strikeout for the Dodgers. That's eight. 
Dodger pitching has helped them win their first two games in this series. And they're trying to keep the Rockies offense quiet again in this one. Zach Veen comes off the bench, fouled back the sinker. One and two. Struck him out. And the Rockies are running out of outs. Two down here in the eighth. It's Brandon Nimmo. On the ground, and Guerrero makes the play standing on the first base bag. And we are heading into the ninth. The Rockies are down three as this is lined into left. Gregory Soto is in the game, hoping to keep this from getting any worse. Drilled to center. On the run is Reynolds, just making the catch. Deep into the left center gap. K. Bear Ruiz. Runner goes. Johnny's throw in time and gets him. Two down now for the Dodgers. Two and two. Struck out Ruiz. Soto sends us bottom nine. And here is the all-star Alex Reyes. Three for three in the postseason, including the wild card clinching save. Now looking for one in game five of the NLDS. Devers the other way. Beats the shift and at one hops the fence. The Rockies need three and this is a good start. He's in the second with a leadoff double. Devers delivers for us as he's done throughout the entire time he's been here. He's driven in our only run of this game. We're hoping for more. Xander Bogarts is next. High in the air and sent to right center. Mookie Betts will chase after this one and makes the catch. And Devers bluffs a tag to third. David Geronimo, hitless today. 1-0. High. Geronimo gets into a hitter's count. Two and one. On the ground at second. Quickly two down. The Rockies season comes down to this. Brian Reynolds has to reach somehow. Five for 20 in the series. He has a pair of doubles. One one from Reyes. Hit in the air to left center field. Over in the gap. The play is made and the Dodgers are advancing. They have won yet another NLDS series. And the Rockies season has come to an end. We finally won the division for the first time in Rockies franchise history. Finished 10 games up on the Dodgers. And still... They are the ones to end our season in Coors Field. And this after we had a chance to eliminate them in Game 4. And after we put up two explosive outputs in Games 1 and 3. We just couldn't get the bats going unless we were going to score 10 that day. Sucks to see the season come to an end like this. I've loved building this team. I felt like we've had a championship caliber team now for a couple years, and especially this one. Everything's come together, including some big trades that I thought put us over the top. But the bats just didn't show up for us in this final game. The curveball at Bueller definitely had us uh, off balance, and their bullpen's always nasty. Can't believe that is how this season ends. So, what is next for the Rockies franchise? I've been working on this series now for two years. MLB The Show 23 has just come out. What is next? When it comes to this series, I think I'd like to maybe go through seasons quicker and obviously change up the format significantly because, you know, it's been two years. And... It took a long time just to get through this year six season. So I've thought about putting together some different kinds of videos for the Rockies to cover a lot more ground and maybe show a more significant portion of the schedule. If we get back to the postseason, how does that go? I've had a lot of trouble with this because I have not gotten to a point where it feels like it's a convenient time to end the series. We keep losing to the Dodgers. We haven't even won a big playoff series yet. So 
I still enjoy the game. I still enjoy making the videos. But it's been a struggle to think about how long does the series go, especially in its current state. I'd like to focus on the Titans franchise primarily over here. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to go to work on the offseason sometime soon, maybe not immediately, and then get into the next year and start to make some big episodes and at least cover a lot more ground. There's probably going to be significant amounts of simulating to see where this team goes. A bit like the sped up nature of the Vikings franchise I had on the second channel is kind of what I think this series needs to get to another point where maybe we have a chance to go further. But I still want to continue the story of this team, but I've wanted to find a, a faster, more creative way to hopefully get this series closer to an eventual end. But if you'd like to leave some feedback down below, feel free. Looking for, uh, you know, what you guys would like to see as well. But that is going to unfortunately end year six with the Rockies. What a season. But unfortunately, we've had a lot of playoff games where the bats have gone awful quiet. That'll do it for this video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll see what's next for the Colorado Rockies franchise. Have a great day, everybody.